A fair die is rolled twice. A fair die is a six-sided die as shown here on the right. The sample space for one roll of a fair die is one, two, three, four, five, six, which means these are the possible outcomes when rolling a fair die once. But again, we are told to roll a fair die twice, and the first question is, are the two rolls independent events? Independent events are events where an outcome of one event is not affected by the outcome of another. And dependent events are events where an outcome of one event is affected by the outcome of another. So in our case, the outcome of the second roll is not affected by the outcome of the first roll, and therefore the two rolls are independent events. And therefore we answer yes for part A. If A and B are independent events, then the probability of both A and B occurring is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. Next, we're asked to find the probability that both rolls show a six. We indicate this as the probability of rolling a six on the first roll and a six on the second roll. And because these are independent events, this is equal to the probability of rolling a six times the probability of rolling a six. So looking at the sample space, we know we have six possible outcomes, only one of which is favorable for rolling a six. The probability of rolling a six is one-sixth, and therefore the probability of rolling a six on both rolls is equal to one-sixth times one-sixth, which equals one-thirty-sixth. And we can verify this if we take a look at the sample space below for rolling a fair die twice. Notice how there are six times six, or thirty-six possible outcomes, only one of which is favorable where both rolls are a six, which does verify the probability of rolling a six on the first roll and a six on the second roll is one thirty-sixth. But let's also show the probability as a decimal and percentage. To convert the fraction to a decimal, we divide one by thirty-six, which to four decimal places is zero point zero two seven eight. which is a percentage is 2.78%. Just keep in mind the fraction is exact, these two have been rounded. Next we're asked to find the probability the first roll is an even number and the second roll is a one. So we want the probability of an even on the first roll and a one on the second roll. And because we have two independent events, this is equal to the probability of rolling an even times the probability of rolling a one. Going back to the sample space of rolling one fair die, there are three favorable outcomes for rolling an even number, which are two, four, and six. The probability of rolling an even is equal to three-sixths, or one-half. Let's go ahead and write three-sixths. And then times the probability of rolling a one, because there's one favorable outcome out of a total of six, the probability of rolling a one is one-sixth, before determining this product, notice how three and six share a common factor of three. There's one three and three and two threes and six. Now we have one sixth times one half, which is equal to one twelfth. The probability of rolling an even number on the first roll and the number of one on the second roll is one twelfth. Again, if we go back and take a look at the sample space for two rolls of a fair die, let's verify this probability. Notice the first column is where we find the second roll is a one, and therefore the outcomes that show an even number on the first roll and a one on the second roll are two comma one, four comma one, and six comma one. There are three favorable outcomes out of a total of 36 outcomes, giving us the probability of an even number on the first roll and a one on the second roll is equal to three thirty-six, which does simplify to one twelfth. Again, let's show the probability as a decimal and percentage. One divided by 12 to four decimal places is 0 0.0833, which is equal to 8.33%. And for the last example, we're asked to find the probability both rolls show an odd number, which is the probability of an odd on the first roll and an odd on the second roll. Because we have independent events, this is equal to the probability of rolling an odd times the probability of rolling an odd. And the odd numbers from one through six are one, three, and five, 
there are three favorable outcomes out of a total of six outcomes. The probability of rolling an odd is three sixths or one half. Let's start with three sixths. And then times the probability of rolling an odd, which we already know is three sixths. Three sixths simplifies to one half, giving us one half times one half, which is equal to one fourth as a fraction, 0 0.25 as a decimal, and 25% as a percent. And again, let's go ahead and verify this by looking at the sample space for two rolls of a fair die. Notice only rows one, three, and five show an odd number on the first roll, and therefore we can ignore rows two, four, and six because they show an even number on the first roll. So in the first row, both rolls are odd when we have one comma one, one comma three, and one comma five. Looking at row three, both rolls are odd when we have three comma one, three comma three, and three comma five. In the fifth row, both rolls are odd when we have five comma one, five comma three, and five comma five. We have nine favorable outcomes out of a total of 36 outcomes, which gives the probability of an odd on both rolls as nine thirty-sixths, which does simplify to one-fourth. I hope you found this helpful.